why is there a rise in the need for program managers to embrace the different practices, different methodologies be available in the post-pandemic situation? Well, I think from a program manager's perspective, uh, we have to look at sustainability of our programs. Um, certainly given changes in economic factors or politics or demographics, um, because we hear a lot about resources jumping ship, we have to try and focus on what it takes to keep our program sustainable. Um, we have to make sure that our team's morale uh, is maintained and uh, that productivity is still kept at the levels that are acceptable both to our internal and external clients. So different methodologies give us certain advantages, whether it be ad uh, waterfall, agile, safe agile, uh, whether people want to apply uh, thought processes like Kanban or, or uh, Six Sigma. Um, I think as a program manager, because you have a breadth of experience and you're expected to have a larger breadth of experience, to maintain that, sus that sustainability, especially post-pandemic, you have to have a knowledge and the ability to kind of adapt. Um, so I think that that's why uh, you have to be able to embrace different practices. There's not one pat answer that is the key to success. So if you can kind of take the best practice or the, you know, what works for you from each little bit to put together a, a productive team and uh, achieve your objectives, then, you know, that's what you have to do. And I think for most program managers today, uh, even project managers, um, that's what they do. It's not like they follow just one way of doing things. Um, it can be labeled one way and everybody calls it agile. But at the end of the day, if you really looked at what people were doing, you would see that it's like waterfall on steroids or maybe it's safe agile or maybe it's uh, Six Sigma following. Um, so, you know, it's everything is constantly adaptive. You know, you really have to have clear governance. Um, although uh, a lot of companies have to do more with fewer resources, so, you know, there are uh, ja Jacks and Janes of all trades, everybody's got to wear a million hats. Uh, I think a strong governance model just helps out when things can get very chaotic. Uh, certainly at the beginning, when things, you know, your teams are, per the, the Tuckman model, you know, everything's storming and you're still trying to figure things out or even when you bring in new resources partway through a program. And I don't know if anybody's read the Mythical Man Month, but you know you have to bring people on board and you have to do it quickly. You can't just embrace one style. You have to be flexible to do what it takes to get to end of job, right?